When it comes to cheap and affordable microphones, we all should be a little skeptical out there because for something that's only 40 USD, is it really gonna satisfy our needs as live streamers and content creators? Well, that's what this video is gonna be about here. We're gonna do a full dive into the TC777 USB condenser microphone to see is it good? Is it bad? Would I recommend it? How does it sound? And overall, is it worth your money? So here we go. Hey, welcome back all you awesome people. Wild for Games here, helping you become bigger and better with your live content and streaming needs. First time here, need a little help? Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. The Toner TC777 microphone is a USB 2.0 condenser microphone that is simple plug and play. Simply plug it in, your computer recognizes it right off the bat, you are up and running within moments, which is probably one of its strongest points. The Toner TC777 microphone is a cardioid polar pattern, which basically means it's gonna do the best to pick up sound from the front while negating it from the sides and the back, which is perfect for live streaming because it's gonna do its best to give you clean and crisp sound while you're talking into it, but also eliminating all those background noises like traffic or even your computer. The Toner TC777 microphone also comes with one microphone stand with a mini shock mount and two additional pop filters, one that slides on and one that will sit in front of the microphone. And that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of impressive features or specs about this microphone. It is bare bones plug and play just to get you started. But how does it sound? Well, here we go. And here you go. This is how I sound on the Toner TC777 USB microphone. Now at the moment, the microphone is sitting on my desk, give or take about eight inches from my face. And here is where we have our first problem with this microphone. Since there's no way to adjust the microphone on the microphone itself with a gain knob or volume adjustments, the sound that it picks up, even though it's a little crisp, is soft which means you have to make plenty of adjustments if you can in your broadcasting software or even within your computer and sometimes you will max out and it will still be soft big problem with this microphone however it does sound rich clean and crisp if you can get the microphone close to your face which means invest in a boom arm or you're gonna have to get a box that you can put on luckily i have a timely box here i'm gonna put it on top of my sega game gear and get it closer to my voice and now you can hear how much richer the voice is coming through the microphone into you however this isn't always my favorite thing which means you kind of have to shove a microphone right in your face sometimes that's not your style if you're a live streamer or a podcaster or content creator online so you have to pick and choose if this microphone will fit your style because you have to get it really, really close to your voice. A positive about this microphone is for the price of 40 bucks, you actually do get a pretty darn decent richness and clarity out of this microphone. And the polar pattern works pretty well. So I'm gonna turn it to the side here. I'm speaking at the side. Now I'm talking to the back of the microphone and turning it back to the side. And now I'm all the way back at the front of the microphone. Does a pretty decent job of picking me up from the front and negating a little bit from the sides. Not as good as another microphone out there or more expensive, but hey, for 40 bucks, not too shabby. If there's one thing that I really hate about this microphone, it is the horrible design of the microphone. The aesthetics of it aren't that bad. The shock mount, piece of crap. The microphone stand, piece of crap. And these horrible pop filters that come on that are attached to the shock mount is super dumb. I really just wanna snap this thing off and be done with it. All you really need is the slide on pop filter right here and you'll be good to rock and roll and be fine with that. However, like I said, you're gonna have to get this microphone close to you, so you're gonna need to invest into a boom arm, which means more money. And that's kind of where I can only find the positives about this microphone. It is not a streamer microphone. It is not a content creator microphone. This microphone right here is literally made for GoToMeeting, Zoom, Google Hangouts and meetings and things like that. Yeah, you can use this for content creation and live streaming, but it would be bare, 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 bare bones. And you know, for only 20 to 30 bucks more that you pay up for, I would highly recommend the Toner Q9 microphone. Way better than this microphone, has more features. It's a full kit that comes with everything plus the boom arm, and it sounds fantastic, and it's easy to use and super affordable. Gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna put a video over here to the side where I recommend you check out the Toner Q9 microphone because it is probably the best microphone I can see at the moment 
that's the best entry level microphone for live streamer and content creators. This microphone's not bad for 40 bucks. I think it's worth the money, but I think it's worth paying up for a better microphone that's gonna make you more happy. Maybe they'll hit it out of the park next time, Toner, but until next time, I'm Wild for Games helping you become bigger and better, and I will see you all later. Take care, and of course, peace.